Hello everybody, welcome to Arabella's Reading Corner. I'm Dorothy. Today I'm taking over. Today I'll be reading Rosary, Rosie Revere Engineer. Let's check it out. This is the story of Rosie Revere who dreamed of becoming a great engineer in Lila's Greer's classroom at Blue River Creek. Young Rosie sat shyly, not daring to speak. Ooh, I can't tell the difference between those two. <laughs> but no, but when no one saw her, she peeked in the trash for treasures to add to her engineer's trash. And late, late at night, Rosie rolled up her sleeves and built her in her hideaway under the eaves. Ooh. Alone in her attic, the moon high above, dear Rosie made gadgets and gizmos she loved. Oh, wow. And when she grew sleepy, she hid her machines far under the bed where they never could see. Oh, no. <laughs> when Rosie was young, she had not been so shy. She worked with her hair swooping over one eye. She made fine inventions for uncles and aunts, a hot dog dispenser, and aluminum pants. <laughs> Funny. Wow. The uncle she was she loved most was the zookeeper Fred. She made him a hat to keep snakes off his head from parts of a fan and some cheddar cheese spray, which everyone knows keeps pythons away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and when it was finished, young, Yazi, young Rosie was proud, but Fred slapped his knee and he chuckled out loud. He wheezed to he laughed till he wheezed and his eyes filled with tears, all to the horror of Rosie Revere, who stood there embarrassed, perplexed, and dismayed. She looked at the cheese set and then looked away. I love it, Fred hooted. Oh, I truly do. But Rosie Revere knew that could not be true. She stuck the cheese hat on the back of her shelf and after that day, she kept her dreams to herself. Oh, he's yes, ready for her. Oh, oh, I'm really snakes. Oh. And that's how it went till one autumn day. Her oldest re relation showed up for a stay. Her great, great aunt. Rosie was a true dino who'd worked in building airplanes a long time ago. She told Rosie tales of the things she had, she had done and goals she had checked off her list one by one. She gave a sad smile as she looked into the sky. The only threw it left on my list is to fly. But the time never lingers as long as it seems. It'll chalk that one up to an old lady's dream. Oh. That night, Rosie lay wide-eyed in bed. A daring idea crept into her head. Could she build a gizmo to help her in flight? She looked at the cheese hat and said, no, not I. But questions were tricky and some hold on tight. 
and this one kept Rosie awake through the night. So when dawn approached and red streaks lit the sky, young Rosie knew just how to make her ant fly. She worked, and she worked till the day was half gone, and hold her cheese, copped her out onto the lawn. To give her invention just a test to see the ridiculous flop it might turn out to be. Strapped into the cockpit, she flipped on her switch. The hell oh cheese copter sputtered and twitched. It flowed in a moment and whirled ran around and froze for a heartbeat and crashed to the ground. Oh no. Rosie heard laughter and turned round to see the old woman laughing and slapping her knee. She laughed till she wheezed and her eyes filled with tears, all to the horror of Rosie Revere, who thought, Oh no, never, not ever again will I try to build something, sputter or spin, or build with a lever, a switch, or a gear. I will never be a great engineer. She turned around to leave, but the great, great Aunt Rose grabbed hold of her long, young Rosie and pulled her in close. She c hugged and kissed her and started to cry. You did it! Hooray! It's the perfect first try! This great flop is over. It's time for the next. Young Rosie was baffled, embarrassed, perplexed. I failed, said dear Rosie. It's just made it trash. Didn't you see it? The cheese copter crashed. Yes, said her great aunt. It crashed, that is true. But first, it did what it just needed to do. Before it crashed, Rosie, before that, it flew. Oh, wow. <laughs> Your brilliant first flop was a ragged success. Come on, let's get busy and on to the next. She handed a notebook to Rosie Revere, who smiled at her aunt and it all became clear. Life made as it has its failures. But this was not it. The only true failure can come if you quit. They worked till the sun sneaked away into its bed. Aunt Rosie tied her headscarf around Rosie's head and sent her to sleep with a smile ear to ear. The dream could be the bold dreams of a great engineer. Wow. At Blue River Creek, all the kids, kids in grade two build gizmos and gadgets and Jimmy Hickey's too. With each perfect failure, they all stand and cheer, but none quit as loudly and proudly as Rosary Revere. Wow. Oh, and <laughs> she. Wow. Disco party. I hope you enjoyed the book.